Yeah. yeah, I guess so. I was just going back when I was in banking. So started banking, uh, like most of you guys was wondering what I wanted to do after that. Decided not to do the on-cycle recruiting. I know a lot of people jump into it and it's getting earlier and earlier. It's pretty crazy. I think this year was like third week of September, which right. was kind of insane. So right. you're barely three weeks <laughs> in the job and then you're being asked to make career decision. And so I was like, listen, like I, I worked pretty hard to get into banking. I want to give it a shot. I'll see if it's for me. And then like, I know there are going to be jobs out there and I, right. I'll take a decision a year later. So fast forward a year and a few months into banking. We like my banking experience, but I felt like my learning curve was plateauing a bit. I obviously, you work really hard in banking. Wanted to go back to investing uh, more than like the execution side of right. banking. And so was obviously considering like the traditional paths of like private equity, hedge fund, and VC. And for me, I mean, all of them are investing and all of them suit different personality. In terms of what I was looking for was not only a pure finance role, that would allow me to like build investment pieces, build a model, but like connecting with the founders and having a level of responsibility where like I would be go alone and take meetings with founders. Like I felt I needed that, especially coming out of banking where you're slightly less exposed to that. And so that's why, and I mean, put it, putting that also in context, when I was in banking, worked on an IPO and really liked having like working with a slightly earlier stage company and going through that process of raising capital. And so I was like, well, I guess VC is for me, but did not know much about VC. So yeah. Bought a bunch of book about these investing, used some people I knew at Goldman to reach out to other people, and then basically just starting at a call. Some people calling networking. I was just like trying to figure sure. out what right. I wanted to do. And then one thing led to another. One of my VP at Goldman, who knew I was interested in VC, was like, well, by the way, I know someone at South Bank. I can put you in touch. I got to hurry to make you agree. So they put me in touch. Two or three weeks later, they were like, well, we're kicking off a process. And VC is more like is less formal than PE. It's more... Um, like one off in terms of process, the teams are typically smaller, so it's not like a very formal process. And so went into the process and then learned as I was going through the interview process about VC uh, and convinced me that that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. But it was really organic in the sense that I did not know like right. coming into banking that VC was what I was. Yeah.